My lord, because of all the pollution, this area has become extremely hazardous. You must be careful at all times and look out for the rampaging mutated monsters. The Corruptorment is to blame for this situation as well. How far will they fall? I see no end to this. What is with that pile of trash? It's like a massive lump of concentrated toxin. It's waste from the human world. Made in... Hmm. There's no doubt that these are the source of the pollution here. Waste from the human world? Are you saying that they're dumping their garbage in the netherworld? It's nonsense! How could the Corruptorman allow this? They must be aware that it's happening. Hey guys, I thought you came here to rescue me! You're right. What? Seriously? Y you actually came to help me? Of course. As a printing instructor, I am obligated to save you. Y you He's only seeing to his professional duty. Don't you dare develop affections for him, lass. Like I would. You guys beat the hell out of me earlier. At least you're still full of energy. Can you fight, lass? My name is Fuka. Fuka Kazamatsuri. A ninth grader from St. Goliath Middle School, Classroom 3B. Yeah, that was kind of driving me nuts. Um, I wasn't sure when I was going to get Fuka, but it's at the very beginning of this fight. So you can't, um, change your equipment or level up or anything before this. Um, this level looks a lot more intimidating than it is. If you have a lot of, um, magic users like I do, it's not that bad. Clone, it makes a duplicate of one of the enemies on the block, uh, on the space. Um, it's, it's the no range panel that's the problem, which is why I'm going to try to take that out uh, first, because otherwise my mages are just going to get mauled if I have to get that close with them. Not to mention their movement is only three each without shoes. So, yeah, she's my character now. And see, she only, <laughs> she only has overalls. Uh, if you happen to have some spare anything in your uh, item bag, go ahead and equip her. So, yeah, I just gave her another defensive item in the Imperial Seal. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw myself over to the no range block. Take that out first. Um, should make a geo panel. I think it'll get rid of the clone one as well. Brace yourself. You, so, I've already done the slime, so, even though that's the only enemy, so I can't, um, so I'm not going to read that one again. I'll do another one of the classes I already have, and that would be the healer. So, let's go over the healer, shall we? Healers serve a vital function in almost every aspect of this diet. These characters are often weak on the front lines, but they can restore amazing uh, health at an amazing rate. This allows other characters to survive battle well beyond any of their normal capabilities. A good healer can practically negate any damage that multiple characters take each round as long as they survive. In story mode, this is useful for getting people through boss fights and other challenging encounters. Inside item and character world, healers ensure that your party has the staying power to make it through level after level without having to use a Mr. Genzi exit to flee. And uh, yeah, believe me, that can make all the difference. Um, getting mana is the hardest thing for a healer, and how. Uh, healing other characters grants some experience, but that won't help you learn abilities and improve skills. When possible, have healers join in on team attacks. Also, put them in an aura 
into the Aura Pyramid group to get free mana from the skills of heavy, of heavy combat characters. I definitely endorse this. This is um, almost essential. Uh, the other option is, and this is me talking about the guide, but they, they have a forte in bows. Um, so either we finish them, finish off weakened enemies with a bow, or um, what we can do is if the healer is in the same group as um, another mage, if you stand next to them, you can use some of their spells. So you could also, because um, healers are good with magic, um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll stand next to Faeror and I'll have her use a wind spell to finish off an enemy for more damage than a bow would do. So that's another strategy for leveling up healers. Uh, if you want healers to be damage dealers, let them spend time as a magician or witch to develop uh, ranged com uh, combative skills. Yeah, that's the other thing, just reincarnate them. Um, because they are based on intelligence and staff use, there is a fair amount of overlap with healers. Because the stats are close enough, healers can make decent damage dealers with casting offensive magic. Oh my god, twice I get phone calls. Oh look, it's a giant slime. Um, yeah, they're, they're bigger, uh, but their stats don't go up by a huge amount until much later in the game, I'd wager. Uh, healers. Uh, because this, uh, healers can make decent damage dealers while casting offensive spells, they won't surpass your main magicians and witches, but that's not the point. Always invest some mana into improving healing spells. That increases area of effect. That, uh, the increased area of effect that this provides makes it easier to heal large swaths of your party. Because characters can group together and then return to their starting positions, as long as you don't attack anything in between, it's possible to create large clusters of allies, have everyone pack in tightly, get healed, and then cancel their movement afterwards. It's like your own private hospital. Alrighty. Uh, class skills. Healing spells. Uh, healing spells restore health to wounded characters. Healers start with a basic heal spell, but as they gain mana, it's possible to learn Mega, Giga, Omega, and Terra versions of the ability. Uh, raise the attacks of your basic heal so that your characters can restore the health of many characters simultaneously. Use higher tier spells for single characters that are badly wounded. This way your healer can conserve SP instead of wasting a huge amount when only one or two people need help. Having a higher resistance increases the amount of health restored by these spells. Thus, it's important for healers to have a high res uh, resistance, both from um, stats and from equipment. Um, orb items increase SP and resistance um, by quite a deal. So they're like the perfect accessory for healers. Honestly, you'd probably want to give them one item and probably two orbs. It, it helps them immensely. Um, Uh, ah, Espoir. Th this is handy. Um, cast the spell to remove negative ailments from allied characters. Higher ranks of the spell increase the range, area of effect, and variety of ailments removed by Espoir. Because many status effects are crippled... Whew, excuse me. ...are crippling for multiple turns, your healer should prioritize Espoir over healing unless it's a life to death, uh, life or death turn for your party. In addition to these, you get a few uh, boosting uh, spells like Shield, which increases defense, Magic Wall, which increases res uh, resistance, and yes, if you use this on yourself, you would heal more the next turn, although, you know, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, speed Boost increases uh, speed, and Feeble lowers attack, so it's good against strong, very strong enemies. Mind Break lowers their intelligence, and Blind lowers their hit. You probably won't be using those that much. Basic ability is Corpse Heal. Increases recovery by 50% for each adjacent unit. So you will heal more HP the more un uh, units you're closer to. Uh, Heart's Fertility. 50% more mana gained when dealing a killing blow. So if you want them to learn mana, uh, learn this. It's only 500 mana to purchase. So grind in the first place, get that, and that will help a lot. Um, veteran Nurse adds 1% to the strength of all healing magic. <laughs> I, doesn't sound that great. 
And Death's Heal. Lowers all stats by 50. Percent? It just says 50, I would assume percent. Uh, but healing magic is strengthened. So if you're not if you're only gonna heal and not attack, that would be useful. Oh, one more slime and then I'm done. Uh, the levels are Healer, Acolyte, Priestess, Bishop, Cardinal, and Saint. I don't even have time to read over the attributes. But obviously Resistance and SP are the highest. My lord, it seems that all the mutants have run away. Now that I think about it, they are also just victims. I could have gone easier on them. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go now there's no reason for me to fight you anymore. Not so fast, lass. Even if you fail to become a prinny, you're still technically a prinny. And as long as you're a prinny, I must teach and raise you from beginning to end so that you can become a great prinny. First of all, prinny rule number one. You shall always include the word dude in every line you say. No way! I'm not a prinny! I'm Fuka Kazumatsuri! Hades is the training ground for all burdened souls. That being said, you have no right to complain. Now, pretty rule number one. You shall always include the word dude in every line you say. No means no. First of all, who came up with these horrible labor laws anyway? It's the pretty law that was written by the very first president of the netherworld. Only the president can revise this law. Okay, then I'll go talk to the president. I'm gonna tell him to his face to change the Prinny Law! Hmm. I find your attitude rather pleasing. Why don't you come with us? I'll take you to meet the president. Seriously? Yes, I promise. My lord, enough with your careless promises. Well, we're going to have to fight the president sooner or later. It's an inevitable confrontation if we are to complete our mission. Isn't that right? You're right, but... Cool! Then I've decided! I'm coming with you! My new mission is to become the Netherworld President! What? Wasn't your goal to revise the Prinny Law? It's the same difference. Besides, I like the sound of that better. And thus, Prinny War 1 came to an end. Tyrant Valvatores and Fuka Kazumatsuri Nobody at the time could imagine how great of an influence their encounter that day would have on the future of not only the netherworld, but of the human world as well. <laughs> My dream is starting to get pretty exciting! How many times do we have to tell you this isn't a dream? You're dead! And how many times do I have to tell you that this is my dream? If you think I'm so wrong, then prove it! Very well! Do you promise that when I'm proven right, you will admit that you are Prinny, no matter what? Fine, I promise! But then if I'm right, you have to promise to become my very own personal Prinny. What? Your personal Prinny? Oh! Are you trying to back out now? <laughs> How amusing. Alright, I'll take you up on that promise. My lord, do not be so rash in making so many futile promises! <laughs> no need to worry. You won't be able to keep your promises. I just released all of the prisoners. I told them that whoever kills you guys will get a full pardon. They're all notoriously brutal criminals. You're all gonna die! It's game over! Lord and Axel, you're still alive? An astonishing truth is revealed to us after putting an end to the Unprinny Rebellion and stopping the Corruptorman scheme. <laughs> That's right, Warden Axel is alive. Let your relief bring you to your knees. The truth is, the word sardine refers to more than one kind of fish, including other small fish in the Clupinae family, like the Japanese shad. Don't tell me that's the astonishing truth you were talking about. By the way, sardines are named after an island called Sardinia in the Mediterranean Sea. Who cares? 
Hey, hey! Aren't you surprised to see me alive? Oh, and uh, shads are also called river herrings. Ugh, are you into fish, too? In Japanese, sardine is translated as iwashi, but urame iwashi and karakuchi iwashi aren't even included in the same family. What in Hades is going on here, Japanese language? Katakuchi iwashi, the anchovy, is in the Ingrolidae family that includes the grenadier anchovy that doesn't even look like a sardine. So why do they even call them iwashi? Sardines would cry if they knew about these vague standards. Come on! No, you come on, you stupid sardine nerd! Next time, episode three, Valvatore's Nether P.I. Murder in Hell's Prison. Sardines aren't always what they seem. What? No! A murder? Who's gonna get killed? You!